Okay, hello. <laughs> the phone is going all, uh, everywhere. Um, this is my first Facebook Live via phone, so let me see how this works. But I just wanted to say a little hello to you because the blog and the Facebook has been a bit silent lately because I've been doing a lot of projects for the upcoming show from which I'm leaving actually today for Creative World and there's also been a lot of on my plate so to speak something really exciting coming this summer for example but I just thought to show you my craft room a bit at the same time and well well just to say hello and throughout Creative World I hope I have Wi-Fi over there or can use my mobile like data link or something so I'm planning on posting photos to Instagram and maybe I'm not sure but maybe doing a live through Instagram while there so let me flip this around so you can start seeing rather just than just me if I can figure out where to do it yeah there so let me move over here as you can see, I craft in our living room. So it's the kind of nook in the living room. And this is our living room dining table, where my computer usually always is. <laughs> and then on this side, as you can see, there's some artwork and Christmas cards. Thank you for those who sent them. I love getting cards. Um, well, this is my craft table. It's built on top of a IKEA shelving unit, and well, as you can see, I probably should be replacing the mat sometime soon. There's a special stack of something, really sneak peeks as well, because there's a couple of projects you have seen already, which are not yet published so keep an eye for those and here uh, here's a, I think this was called bureau I actually asked Katie from the mixed up creative what to actually call this one so the top falls down or folds down and reform a little table and here's kind of all necessary it's like pens archival ink pads, scissors, then there's some adhesive there, like twine, more inks here, bow embossing pad, stapler, if you have been watching my like step-by-step -step or process videos, you know that I love to use that one. And on top here there's some watercolors, concentrated ones, watercolor tins, pencils, this is my art daily kind of basket where all the art daily stuff is here's the embossing powders so i have these kind of little baskets and stuff that store most of the stuff though like items here for example are my washi tapes and if i lift this up so big dies can be found for example here hi simona and here's the stencils and then of course there's these two trolleys that hold all the mediums there's prima mists and then there's naturally the finnabar lovelies sorry i'm hoping this is not going too fast and in here there's again little things that hold stuff for example, in this drawer, there's alter alterable like spoons and like, various ephemera. Here's the papers. And then there's all of these are Prima. Prima supplies. There's Prima flowers and all the like crystals. More papers there. And those boxes over here, they store my stamps. So, 
this is, has been a little just a sneak peek. Oh, and here's naturally the Sisig Big Shot Plus. Let me flip this again. Okay, so I'm sorry that I haven't been online much lately, but I'm hopefully getting the blog up and running like next week when I come back from Frankfurt. But until then, just follow Instagram stories. I'm hoping to post pictures there while I'm in the craft event. And well, I hope you like the little tour. If you have any questions, please just post them in. But as I said, I will be traveling from starting this afternoon until like early Monday and then I'm going to work, but I will answer them eventually. So if you have any questions about my storing system or whatever. So thank you for joining me and well, see you around in the internet or hopefully live someday. Bye. Mm -hmm.